What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. Thank you guys for crushing the like button on my new emo video. You got it well over 500 likes, so I'm going to give you a video of all the emo locations in the exiled land. Now this is just going to be in the exiled lands and the reason for that is to keep the video shorter. There are well over 50 emote locations that I have to visit just in the exiled lands. Now don't worry, I have segmented this video so that you can find the emote you're looking for easier. So I blocked these out into emotes that are similar. So the first set of emotes that we're going to go look for are the flirt emotes. Now the first one is down here at the sinkhole, we are right there on the map, and it is right next to the obelisk, this one is going to teach you squirm. The next emote is here at the hand of the maker, and you just want to run out on this hand here, and you'll find the book, this is come here. The next emote is at the entrance to the summoning place. This is on the left hand side and it's right here on this book right when you enter and this is going to teach you spank. Now this is a good point in time for me to let you guys know I am in god mode and cloaked. That's why nothing is attacking me. When you come up here you will need to fight these NPCs in order to not get attacked while you're learning these emotes. The next location that we're visiting is Death Whisper Ruins and we're coming to look for this book right at the top of the stairs this book is going to teach you a blow kiss the next location that we're going to is skulkers end right here on the map and if you run up to this rock there's a book right here and that is going to teach you comb hair the next emote is just across the river from Scavenger's Birth, right over here, and it's a book laying in the sand here. If we interact with that, we learn Show Off. The next emote that we're looking for is up here in Sepamaru. It is by the West Wall, and you can see the dancer and those folks having a conversation. Behind these boxes, you'll find a book, and if we interact with that, we learn Flirt. The next emote that we're looking for is right over here at the Black Galleon, and this is Seduce. This is the one that only females should learn, but hey, if you got a male character, you can learn it too. It's this book right here, and if we interact with that, we learn Seduce. The next set of emotes that we're going to learn are the worship emotes and I should mention that some of these will teach you the same emote over again so keep that in mind. You're going to learn how to pray standing, pray sitting, pray kneeling at multiple emotes that we find next. Returning to the summoning place, if we run all the way to the back, there is a shrine, and next to that shrine is a book here. If we interact with that, it teaches us a by yog. Right down here, next to the entrance to Weaver's Hollow, we're going to learn our next emote. It is a book that is sitting beside the entrance, and this is by Krom. Headed into the unnamed city and we're right where you would go to fight the giant snake. Right in there is where you fight the giant snake and there you can interact with that guy. But to the left hand side of these entrances you'll find a book and if we interact with that we learn by set. Making our way over here to Marilla's Hope, there's a book we want to interact with here. So, if you're staring at the shrine, turn around, run over to the stairs and over the side, and you'll find the book right here. This is going to teach you by Mitra. The next emote on our list is way out here in the jungle by the crevice, and it's right here underneath this tent or this lean-to. Interact with that for the sleep emotes. Right out here next to the Shattered Springs, you're going to find a little crevice that you can walk into. There's a book laying on the ground here. Interacting with that will teach you the laugh emotes. This next one can be rather hard to find, but it is just outside the edge of the unnamed city. And you can see the wall for the unnamed city is there, and we are across from the Tower of Bats there. But you just want to find this little camp, and there's a book laying on the ground. If we interact with that, we learn Psy. The next emote that we're going to learn is right up here at the Slaveway. And if you guys are bored of this video already, this emote's for you. This one is going to teach you Yawn. The next emote that we're looking for is here by the Shattered Bridge. It's on the north side of the bank here, and if you just run up and come over here to this camp, there's a book that's going to teach you Submissive. 
On the southern side of the Shattered Bridge, there's actually a book at this camp right over here, and if we interact with that, it teaches us cross arms. Coming back out to Marilla's Hope, this book is basically on the opposite side of the shrine, and if we interact with that, it teaches us score. If we head up north through the ruins of old Nabathru, what you'll find is a book lying on the ground right here, and if we interact with that, we learn cheer. Coming up here to the Mounds of the Dead, this larger hut right here, you want to go next to that. That's the larger hut. This is a smaller hut next to it. But if you run right over here, there's a book, and that's going to teach you the chicken emote. Near the Bridge of the Betrayer, you'll find Rim Fisher's hut right here. And if you look right here on this bench, there's a book that's going to teach you the slit throat emote. The next location is just next to the Circle of Swords, so you can see I'm on the southern part of the Circle of Swords. You want to head down the mountain here, and you can see the book right there on the edge. If we interact with that, we learn the Shake Fist emote. Back out here and next to Sepa Maru, you can see we are right here. If you go through that entrance, you'll find Conan's Bar, but that's not the entrance you want to go in. You want to swing over here and talk with this NPC. This NPC will teach you Taunt. Heading right up here to King's Niche, if we head up the stairs here and if you keep on going in there, there's actually a boss you can fight. I recommend going and fighting him for his drops. However, there is a book right here. You can interact with that and learn Fist Punch. Back up here to the Mounds of the Dead, this book is just on a little island right here, just outside of the Mounds of the Dead. And if we interact with that, we learn Spit. The next location that we're going to is the Ward Towers. You can see there we are between the two southern towers. And you can see one tower there, one tower there. Directly across from the shrine on the edge of the cliff here, you are going to find this book, which will teach you push-ups. The next list of things we're going to learn are the dances. The first one that I'm going to bring you to is right out here at the den. This happens to be my favorite dance. Now, unlike the books, you actually have to stand and watch the ghosts for a time in order to learn these dances. And this dance at the den is the belly dance. The next dance that we're going to learn is over here at Sepamaru. Just enter through the southernmost entrance, and you are headed to what is likely the tallest set of buildings in the area, right here at South Lake. If we head right over here, you can see these ghosts doing the snake dance. The next area that we're going to come to is Ravager's Cleft or the Cursed Way. It's right below both of these, so the Cursed Way is up this direction. What you want to do is head to this abandoned camp right over here, and the ghosts will appear in this area. Once you get them started, they should... There we go. We learned the War Dance, even though I don't see the ghosts, but they are right in this area here. The next location that you want to go to is Mitra's Serenity right here on the map and you want to run behind it so there's mitra serenity we are going to run up behind it take a left and another left you can see these two statues over here these are part of the game and if you watch the ghost dance this is going to teach you the aquilonian dance the next location that we're going to come to is a sharp tooth passage here and you're just going to run into the camp and you actually want to head up on the hillside there. You can see the bench and the torch sitting there. If we head right up here, we'll see them doing this dance. And if you just stand here and watch it for a moment, this is going to teach you the Sumerian dance. The last dance on our list is the Catan dance, and it is near the River Watch camp here. Actually, if you do the dungeon, the dregs, you come out of that center pipe right there, and it's really easy to get to. So you just want to run into these ruins here, and you will find the dance right there next to that tent. So you can see we are at Algar's Outlook, and... If we run up next to the tent here, we'll find the ghosts dancing. And if you just stand here and watch that, you'll learn the Catan dance.
Coming back over to Sepa Maru, we are going to learn Surrender here. And you can see this is the Temple Quarter. The shrine is right there to set. And if we come over by this building right here, there's a page on the ground. Interacting with that will teach you Surrender. Coming from where Surrender was, running straight across to the other building, you can see there's the shrine. Interacting with this will teach you Shrug. Coming from the shrine and going towards the other shrine where they're praying, you can see there's this rubble right here. Right next to that is another page. Interacting with that will teach you clap. Closer to the shrine here, you can see there's another page right here on the ground. Interacting with that will teach you bear hug. Bear hug is right there on the ground. If we come just out into the grass here, we're actually going to be able to learn to point. And I want to point you towards the like button. If you'd go ahead and give that a whack for me, I'd be much appreciated. Right up next to the steps of the shrine, you can see there's another page here. Interacting with that will teach you to grovel. Coming from where we learn to grovel, if we come right next to this NPC that's kneeling, there's a page on the ground here. Interacting with that will teach you how to ponder. If we run just a little ways away from the kneeling NPC along the walls here, in the grass you'll actually find another page that will teach you a polite clap. Now if we get into the newly added emotes, we are right here again in Sepamaru, right out in front of Conan's bar, and we want to run inside and interact with this book. This is going to teach you conversation. Quite possibly the hardest emote to get is way up here in the volcano. This is at the Well of Skellos, you can see there, and it is at the top, so that's where you're going to interact to learn the Serpent Man weapons. You want to run towards the edge and interact with this book in order to learn Work Metal. If we come out here to the jungle, you can see we're at the Forgotten City, and that boat there is where you're going to interact in order to get to the underwater dungeon or the sunken city. You want to run up this set of stairs, run right to the middle of the room, and next to this rubble, you're going to find a book. Interacting with that will teach you eat. Now, eat, sit, and relax, which are the next three that I'm going to show you, are all four Pets, they do not work on all pets, but they do work on some pets, and they do not work on your humanoid followers. Still in the jungle, out here at the Pleasure Palace, the Pagoda of Boundless Lusts, this is where you're going to learn the Durketo religion. There is a book right here. Interacting with that will teach you relax. The last emote on our list is way up here at Metal Watch, and if you just run in and look for this table, there's a book lying on it. Interacting with that will teach you sit. So I hope you guys have found this video enjoyable as well as helpful finding all those emotes in the exiled lands. Don't forget to whack that like button on your way out, and let me know in the comments section which emote is your favorite. I'd like to thank all my YouTube members for your continued support. Y'all are absolute legends. If you'd like to become a legend, there's a button that says join on this page. Click that for details. There's two videos on the screen. Click one of those to watch next and I'll meet you over there.